Oh, Amazfit, you've gone and done it now. You've definitely done it. You've gone all Amazon and left Google Assistant out in the frigid California cold. Where's the love, dang it? Where's the love? Seriously though, in what must be a masterstroke of genius, Amazfit has made its already impressive Verge watch even more impressiver. Oh. oh, that's not a word. Impress, impressiver. Well, in short, they basically made my inner Dick Tracy all happy inside by giving the Verge Alexa powers. It's not Google Assistant, mind you, but I'll take whatever I can get. Now, in terms of powers, I would call the Google Assistant Captain Marvel and Alexa probably is like Black Widow. She has no reason to be there, not much powers, but people like her anyway and they put her in. Anyways, so this is just gonna be a quick run through video because Amazfit just launched this about a couple of days ago and I think it's a pretty big deal and it's a game changer. I mean, for a mainstream watch to incorporate Alexa and I hope Google Assistant at some point because maybe it's just down to the API and whatnot, but for Alexa to be on a smartwatch, and I think this is one of the first mainstream watches to do it, uh, watchmakers, Huami I think is the second largest in the world. And I've seen other ones that other Chinese makers have made, but this is the first big one that actually incorporated something so good in it. So we're gonna run through, I'm gonna show you how it works, what works, what doesn't. Uh, hopefully it's just, you know, like something they'll improve over time. But let's cut to it and cue the intro. <laughs> So in order to start using Alexa on your watch, you have to update the firmware, I think it's 3.2.2.0 and then the Amazfit watch app as well. Once you update that one, you should see in the third party application or accounts. Besides Strava, now you see Amazon or Alexa, whatever it is. And then you just log into your Amazon account and you can start using it. It's activated by using the home button and that's it. If you're in the lock screen, you have to press it twice to get it out of lock and then press it again to launch Alexa. Now, just so you know that Alexa is not always listening like unlike an Echo or your home device, you have to press a button. So calling out the call sign just doesn't work here, obviously. I'm guessing it's for battery reasons and things like that. So it's a smart decision. So uh, using it for general things like general queries and weather is amazing on this thing. It actually shows the results on screen that you can scroll and look at and all that kind of stuff. Let me show you real quick. Tell me the weather. Right now in Hayward, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather with a high of 79 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. And I turn on a follow-up listening, so it's always listening after one result. So that's pretty cool. Now if I do it again. Tell me the history of Singapore. In this case, it would show me a Wikipedia article that I can read, a short one. See that? So that's pretty cool. Now, what also works is setting alarms, and alarms are pretty quick. Set an alarm for 8.30 tonight. No. So one thing cool about this is it actually connects to your your watch's alarm system. So once you go into your alarm app, you will see it uh, in there as well. Now what doesn't work so far are things like music, if I ask it. Please play music. And also phone calls. Phone calls don't work on this. It's kind of odd to me that if you can patch in alarm, uh, you can use set up alarms on Alexa and it connects to the, f it sets up on the phone itself. Why can't I set up phone calls on this? I guess because the Amazon phone call uh, works with Alexa customers only, I'm guessing, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think maybe that's why maybe they could go with Google because that's more open that way, open environment. Now, one thing I noticed, and I'm not sure, I need to test this out a little bit more, is when I was outdoors, like traveling around, Alexa wouldn't work. It just wouldn't connect. I think it connects to my Wi-Fi locally, but I'm not sure if it go, it's supposed to go through the phone. But it stopped working outdoors, so I need to test it out a little bit more to see if that's really the case, or if there's a connectivity issue with a 
Amazfit app and my watch or something like that or something dropped out so I need to figure that one out because I was having problems connecting but otherwise this thing is pretty amazing uh, oh yeah you can also do like things like hey uh, not hey Google flash briefing So you can listen to the news and all that kind of stuff. Now, here's one thing I also noticed, like this is probably not related to the thing, but as a general usability thing, if you notice the quality is kind of low, I had just taken a shower and I think there's water in there and it really affects the speaker quality. At one point when I was filming this, Alexa was really, really quiet and I have the volume at maximum. So I whacked this watch a little bit, you know, I just whacked the water out and it started getting louder. So this volume is actually not as loud as earlier when I tested it before the shower. So just take note of that. So it's, here's another thing I want to note. Like once you download the Alexa app, you can also change the flash briefings to whatever news and all that kind of stuff and rearrange it as you need. So uh, use that if you like more customize, customization. And there's that. What works and what doesn't work about the Alexa so far. And I, I'm really optimistic and happy about this functionality so you know it really feels special where you can just click the button and then you ask it and it's always listening so that's pretty cool it's a pretty cool party stopper right there well there you have it guys this is almost the end of the video and i think this is amazing this is a great revelation that amazfit has included alexa and i think it is awesome it used to be just an average joe in a whole sea of crazy abundance of smartwatches but with Alexa integration, a smart assistant integration, it just blows everyone out of the water. It's a big, huge thing. And I hope they improve it over time, maybe integrate it even more. But as it is, it, I've used, started using this a whole lot more. Battery life is probably going to take a hit, but we'll figure it out and test it more in my future reviews uh, as I talk about ergonomics and usage and software and all that kind of things. But stay tuned for those ones. But I hope you liked today's video and enjoyed making this quick one. It's super awesome. I just had to tell you guys. Remember to subscribe to this channel, of course, and sub subscribe it and support it. Click the bell notifications down below. You know how it works. And comment down below if you like it, don't like it. This is, I think this blows my mind. So anyways, come back sometime soon. There's no thumbs up, thumbs down thing today. This is a quick one. So, but thumbs up if you like it. Don't thumbs down, yeah, thumbs down, it's just a no thing, yeah, we don't do it here. But if you do thumbs down, remember to do it twice, click it twice, so, you know. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day, God bless, be awesome and do something good for somebody as always, alright? Peace out. <laughs>